welcome to a quick video about the main differences between Foodworks Online Nutrition Labeling version 1 and Foodworks Online Nutrition Labeling version 2, which was rolled out on July 24th, 2024. In this video, I will briefly discuss the main updates to the workspace dashboard, organization settings, and nutrition labeling workspaces. Let's start with the main updates to the workspace dashboard and organization settings. In this video, I will be working in a sample organization with sample data. On the left is the workspace dashboard of version one and on the right is the workspace dashboard of version two. The main difference in the workspace dashboard is that an activity log is now available in version two, which can be opened and closed using the arrow on the right side of the screen. The activity log is a record of changes that have occurred in the workspaces you have access to in your organization. The main difference with organization settings is that additional user permissions are now available. If you are the organization owner of a Foodworks Online organization with multiple users, you can now assign admin roles to other users. Admins can now also manage user access within the organization. To make changes to user roles, head to the users table in your organization settings. I will now open a nutrition labeling workspace in version one and version two and discuss the primary differences. One key difference is the updated navigation pane. In version one, you needed to be in the resources section for the resources to appear in the navigation pane. And in version two, there is no longer a resources section and they are automatically always displayed. Secondly, the tools and workspace settings tabs have been slightly relocated from the side of the navigation pane to the top. The next key difference is that an activity log is available on the general tab of your workspace settings, which displays any changes made within the workspace you have open. Activity logs are also available on the general tab of resources, which displays changes that have occurred within that open resource. The last key difference is the changes with saving resources. In version one, a singular version of a resource was available and changes were not automatically saved. In version two, draft and published versions of resources are available and your work is automatically saved. This improvement will prevent any data loss and gives you the option to create and edit drafts without the changes being pushed to the final resource until you choose to do so. As an example, all of my resources in version two are currently published versions. If I open a raw material, for example, cooked chickpeas, you can see it is a final published version displayed as read only. If I want to make a change, I can click the edit icon and the resource is transformed to a draft version. Draft resources are marked accordingly in the navigation pane, as you can see here. In this draft I have just created, I can now make changes, such as modifying the protein and fat values, and they are automatically saved. Three options then follow. First, you can click publish and the new version will override the previous version. Second, you can click save and close the draft without publishing. The published version will still remain and is the version used in any resources that it was previously used in. You can then come back to the draft later and make any other required changes and then publish. Third, you can close and discard the draft. The draft version will be deleted and the previous published version will still remain. If you are not interested in using the draft and published versions of resources, you can simply create and edit resources and select publish each time, which is essentially the same as clicking save in version one. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope this information helped you understand the main differences between Foodworks Online Nutrition Labeling version one and version two. More in-depth video tutorials will be available soon. In the meantime, the articles on the support site have all been updated to reflect the changes in version two. A link to the support site can be found in the related article section at the bottom of this support article. You can also contact us by emailing info at zyrus.com.au or phone by calling 07 3223 5300 for support. Thank you for watching.